What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video in which we'll be talking about some new projects launching in 2023 and 2024, which I think you need to know about. If you know me a little bit, you know that I love to research these new projects coming out. I think that's uh, that's one of the best ways to actually earn money in crypto, be early at really good projects. And that's why I wanted to showcase three projects that are probably coming with a token. They already have a project. They already have some sort of a product developed, but they're coming with a token soon. Um, and I think you need to know about these at least for the next bull market. We'll talk a little bit about what they are, a little bit of a background, their partners, uh, investments, and then I'll also tell you why I would invest in it or why I would wait. All right, let's get right into it as uh, I make these videos more often. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, but as most of you know, usually what I do is I first, uh, we'll talk about the three projects in order. First, we'll talk a little bit about what the project is, what I see them as. Um, so kind of like the, the niche in crypto that they're in. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the token sale, what you can expect from that, when you can expect it, and then I'll I'll, set, I'll tell you my advice and whether you should buy it or not. But obviously, that's also that, that that's up to you. This video is not financial advice, and in the end, it's an encouragement to let you research these projects as well and even more, uh, because I truly believe that if you want to m make a lot of money in crypto, you either have to be well a very good trader, a very good trends anal analyst, uh, or you have to be early at one good project. That's all you have to do. Uh, so let's get right into it. The first project, which I also have a full dedicated review on, is Subquery, an SQT token. Uh, great project. It's it's kind of in a niche blockchain infrastructure. What it basically is, it's, it's, it's an indexing project, right? And it has multiple solutions for that. So they have their own uh, uh, developer kit, an explorer and a managed service. So they actually already make money as a project. And they are also setting up their own subquery network where you have indexers and you basically, basically it's infrastructure for decentralized application builders uh, so that they can retrieve and store data uh, using subquery. It's a bit technical. If you want to know more about that, go to subquery.network. There you can read a little bit more about that. Uh, but as I said, I have a full video on that as well. Uh, but we'll not make this video too long. So we'll not go over all of that. First thing you want to uh, want to know is that they have already raised nine million dollars in their funding rounds. Eight September of 2021, that was. Um, so, as with most big cryptos, there is already some funding from venture capitals. When the token is going to launch, we have to take a look at the tokenomics. They're not known yet, I believe, uh, because if these if these venture capitals can sell early. That's obviously bad for for the price, and that will cause uh, and, and that will cause some some drops in the beginning. That's just something we have to know. Apart from that, they are using TokenSoft as their ICO platform, so it's really an ICO, uh, which is a great platform. TokenSoft and CoinList are practically, if you exclude the Binance launchpads and stuff out there, they're practically the best. They are raising a lot of money, so the initial market cap is going to be fairly high. That's all things we have to know. Uh, so that's also why I would not initially, um, or I would actually participate in the TokenSoft uh, in, in the TokenSoft ICO, but I would re re refrain myself from buying too much initially uh, because of that risk there is that it's already a high market cap coin uh, and that it has a lot of venture capital backing. But Subquery is the first project with a token launching in 2023, 2024, probably 2023 because it was initially planned for 2022. Um, but uh, but yeah, that, that's coming. You'll you'll receive updates on that from my channel as well. But for now, that's everything I can tell you. Probably 2023. Next project is Claystack and the Clay token, which initially actually already was planning some sort of an IDO or an ICO, uh, but it has since the, since the, the status has been reduced to just that they're in funding. Uh, but Claystack, what it is, and if you want to know more about that, I'll obviously leave the links down in the description. But at claystack.com, you can learn a little bit more about that to make it very easy and to keep it simple. It's a liquid staking platform. All right. So if you don't know what liquid staking is, it's basically that you can stake your cryptos while still owning some sort of a proof that you have those tokens. So that allows you to use those specific tokens for other DeFi practices. And that while you're staking tokens, you can still use them as collateral, for example. Um, so that's uh, the liquid staking is a narrative in crypto. It's not as trending as, as what it used to be, but I do think it will become bigger in the next years and in the next period of time. 
And therefore, I think ClayStack is a great platform. Now, ClayStack, as I said, they used to have announced a token sale. Now it, it hasn't anymore. So this is probably coming out at the end of 2023, 2024. Again, I'll keep you updated on that. Um, but uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend you to check out their platform. Right now, they, they only have liquid staking on Matic coins, but they are looking to expand that. Um, and they have some uh, some great backers in Parafy Capital, Coinbase Ventures, and Amoca Brands, uh, Solana Foundation. So great backing. Also with the Solana Foundation, there's some sort of a roadmap to uh, to Sol liquid staking, hopefully. Uh, but they only raised 5.2. Still not nothing. And still we should be wary of uh, venture capital selling initially. Uh, but I do think ClayStack actually will start with a relatively lower market cap. And therefore I think ClayStack is definitely one you should watch. Um, now, whether I think it would be wise to invest in it does depend on what platform, for example, they use to actually bring it to the people, first of all. And second of all, also the initial market cap, uh, which is something we don't know yet. Uh, but I, I, I would, for example, uh, I'm, I'm way more interested in the initial sale of ClayStack compared to SubQuery, uh, if that says anything. All right. But that's the second project. Last of all, this might be a little bit controversial, but don't worry, I'll talk you through it. It's Ultiverse or ULTC is the name of the token. Uh, with an IDO upcoming, uh, it says at least it could still be an ICO. It could also still be uh, launched on the Binance Launchpad, for example. Uh, but why this is a little bit more controversial is that it's a metaverse project. And I know what you're saying. We already know so many metaverse projects and I agree. I 100% agree with you. I just think that uh, at some point there's going to be projects that actually have developed a, a, a beautiful and actually uh, a metaverse with utility. And I think Ultiverse could be one of those projects. Now I do have to say that it, it really 100% dep depends on the development of Ultiverse, whether the IDO or ICO or pre-sale um, is actually attractive or not. All right, so right now what you can see in the roadmap um, is that they're busy with the first, the alpha launch of Terminus City, which is a part of their metaverse. Again, if you want to check that out, go to ultiverse.io. Um, it's a part of their metaverse. So development like, uh, developments like those, you have to really keep up with it. See how, see what you think of it, see how it's being received by the community in crypto. And, uh, and, and by doing that, you can kind of gauge whether the ICO or pre-sale is actually going to be good or not. So my advice for this would be to really keep up with that because it could very well still be a flop, but it is 100% a project you have to watch because they have some amazing backing. They raised around to 10 million, but they have backing by Binance Labs. Um, and Binance Labs, as we all know, Binance is one of the, one of the biggest actors in the entire crypto industry. If there's backing by Binance, there's that potential that it gets marketed by Binance, that it either gets uh, or, or that it gets featured on the Binance Launchpad. And those projects always do amazing. All right. So that's why I think you should definitely watch it. Um, and as I said, if you already take a look at, but you can again do that on their website. If you take a look at some of the trailers they have, it does look like this is one of the metaverses that actually has the potential to do something good with it. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's project number three. As I said, my advice would, would to initially, if, if for example, right now they would do a token sale, I would not invest in it. You really have to wait for the development and see if they actually can uh, deliver on their promises. Uh, but with that, we have talked about three projects I think you need to know about and you need to at least consider participating in the ICO, IDO or pre-sale. Um, as I, uh, we talked about ClayStack, talked about Ultiverse, a subquery, all the links will be down in the description. But for now, this is my video. So if you do have any questions, let me know. I'm always open for discussion as well in the comments. Uh, but for now, take care and bye.